Hi Peter, here's a quick video on how to put these things together. So first things first, this white one is attached at the base, two screws through the acrylic. So you've got to make sure to hold the body and the bottom of the acrylic at the same time. You can't just lift one up without the other, it'll fall apart. Once you get it all set up wherever it needs to be, you can move the arm slightly and prop the head. You want the bottom drip to be pointing downward this guy and then place this one where his his left foot goes in between her legs so it's almost like a weird puddle of his own goo uh, this one's pretty straightforward uh, you're gonna hang it up on the wall it has a hole in the back uh, there's a rare earth magnet that attaches to two washers that are on the inside so you can just force that on it'll be a snug fit but don't worry about it it'll be all good this one is probably the most delicate of the bunch. Definitely need to use two hands supporting the back and the back of the head when you're moving it in. Um, and then when you mount it, you've, you'll have to force it on through the back. As far as attaching them to the wall, these are color-coded pegs that have rear earth magnets on them. Uh, I've included a wrench and also a uh, drill bit to drill the pilot hole for this one. Um, once you get past a certain depth, um, you may want to start, uh, once you're almost there, you might want to hand tighten it, but it comes out at the wall at a 90 degree angle. And then the other two that mount go pretty straightforward. It's not a bolt, so it's not as heavy duty. So, once that's all set, then you just pop him on there, and he'll be all good. So, let me see. You always want to carry them by their back, or their bottom, depending on what is back or bottom for them. Then I line up the two holes. You may have to wiggle it on there a little bit. You don't want to put too much pressure on the flock itself. It doesn't like that. But once it's on, it should be completely flush with the wall. See how I'm just slowly sliding it on there. And you should be ready to go. And there shouldn't be any, any much of any space behind him on the wall. It'll just kind of snap into place. Same goes for the big head, you just have to be a little more careful with that one. You'll note that I'm always wearing gloves when I'm handling these because they collect dust like nothing else. I've also included some gloves. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions. I think the number one thing to remember is to carry the pink one with two hands at all times and to carry the white one by the base and the body. All right, man, let me know if you have any questions, bye. Also, in case of an emergency, I've included some extra patches. You'll be able to tell the usable side because it'll look more like the actual piece. Um, so if someone accidentally scratches something off or deliberately does or whatever, all you have to do is apply a little bit of this nail polish, let it dry for a second, tear off a piece that's the appropriate size and just kind of press it on into the spot that needs it. Okay, and this is going to be the container that has all the tools and so on in it. All right, thanks.